This is Douglas Fisher with Environmental Health Sciences, here with the top stories on our environment and health for the week of October 5th through 9th. It's been a good one. Let me show you. Our top story comes from EHN and is a months long investigation into warming, worsening environmental racism in the South as a result of all things of Europe's wood pellet appetite. The key finding is that these companies, companies are coming into, into mostly communities of color with promises to build up busted local economies with a green energy industry, but instead they only further pollution and local dangers and they are destroying these diverse hardwood forests and replacing them largely with monocultural pine plantations. The second series of stories, there is a series of stories on children's health. First one in The Guardian by their ACE environmental reporter, Damian Carrington, hot linking air pollution particles in young brains to Alzheimer's damage later in life. And in environmental health news, uh, an opinion piece looking at the science by three experts in environmental health and kids' health, including Linda Birnbaum, the former director of the National Institute of Environmental Health Science. They find that it is time, looking at the science, it is time to rethink our fluorination of the nation's drinking water. We would be remiss, of course, to point out, to fail to point out the presidential debate and the 10 minutes spent talking about climate change. With this coming after years of absolutely no mention of, of the issue in the presidential debates, and after that rowdy presidential debate last week or two weeks ago, where President Trump was asked point blank if he accepted the science, this could be the year that climate science returns to the mainstream. And finally, a bit of good news from the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, on Canada's over, long overdue single ban on single-use plastics. It's a small step. It won't make a huge difference in the amount of stream in the amount of garbage going into the into the ocean, but it doesn't mean it's a good move. It's not a good move, according to experts. It's an important first step. You can catch the links to these stories and more in our comments sections, or you can subscribe and get these weekly in your inbox at ehn.org/slash. Subscribe. Thank you. We'll catch you next week.